Pierce, your BT debut, another stoppage. Sum it up. Yeah, it was a fantastic stoppage. Um, had a lot of um, a lot of nerves coming in. Didn't show on. Felt good in the dressing rooms, chilling, relaxed, nice and nice and chill as a fighter should be. And um, listen, I went out there. I was with all the crowd. It was fantastic, great, and just got went down, got the job done. His um, his corner seems to have thought the stoppage was premature. Carl Frampton though said it was great, and um, his uh, face would make a meme for years to come. Such was the destructive power that you had there. Did you think it was the right decision to stop your fight? Oh, a million percent. If, if it wasn't then, it was, it was later on down the road, and it was going to hurt him bad because it was only a matter of time. Um, it was a tricky opponent, Selpa. Hadn't had a Selpa since 2020. Um, yeah, obviously Selpa, last minute opponent. We had titles lined up and stuff like that. That all fell through. And then here we are now. So um, victorious, came out, we overcame it. We're just going to keep on pushing now, bigger things. Often it can affect a fighter, you know, a lot of different opponents came through, a lot of people didn't want the fight, you know, it was meant to be different areas, different things. How did that affect you? Was it just water off the back? Nah, I just, listen, it is what it is, it's part of boxing, isn't it? I can only control me, which we try and we do it, we rest, I can only try and all what I can control, where all that rest is me managing, me trying and stuff like that, so that's, that's, out of my, that's all out of my control, so I have nothing to do with that, so um, it's not just being a full professional as myself, as, as I can. When you pictured this fight beforehand, is this how you imagined it would be, talking after a knockout victory? A million percent. I kept saying it, I kept saying it to myself, and still undefeated by a TKO, Pierce O'Leary. And I'm sure to be warned, there it was there. He said it exactly. So um, I couldn't have predict this stuff for myself, you know. I, um, I, believe, I, I believe in the visualisation, and listen, it's, it's all happening for me. Are you on the big stage as well? Did you want to put in a performance to show just how good you are? I, want, listen, I was going out there, I had a lot of nerves as I said, I was going out there just to box, I wasn't even looking for the KO and it was one shot, boom, as soon as you don't look for it and it just comes. You also had a good crowd backing you coming all the way from Ireland, that must have mean a lot to you. Uh, listen, for a guy just to come over here, it's like 700 quid plus flights, hotels and not even spend the money, so people throw money away like that just to come over and see me, like, it's... it's it's mad, it's crazy and I'm forever, forever grateful and it's just a matter of time until I can return their, their favour boy, bring boxing back to Dublin. How fast do you think you can start rising the levels? Listen, I'm on, I don't want to give too much of my me, uh, me goals away but I think next year I want to start fighting for early on European titles and stuff like that so it's only around the corner, do you know what I mean? So I'm now living over here, I'll be in the gym more time, I'll be trying to flat out and it's only a matter of time now, as I said, big things are going to come. You've got a gym with so many young, hungry fighters. How much does that spur you on? Oh, it's amazing. It's um, they, these young fighters like they're full of energy, um, great sparring. They, like we're inspired. No one wants to tear up. It's all it's all control. Now um, saying that if someone comes comes in, new, like a, a different guy from the from the gym comes in, well then fair enough that rule changes. But we all we all help each other. We all push each other to the backbone and um, help each other to reach our goals. Lastly, can you talk us through the stoppage? How did you, what was in your mind? Was that the shot you were looking for? Um, do you know what? Everyone kept saying, oh, you'll, you'll do this, you'll do that. I never, I never did, even, I didn't even think of that. I just went out and just, once we box, it's all going to happen. Do you know what I mean? These knockouts are going to come. I, don't, I didn't look for it. And it was, a, it was a, a block and then counter puncher where it was like the one with Canelo and Saunders. Do you know what I mean? So, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a Canelo in the next couple of years. Did you know you had him the moment you connected? Soon I was literally going to jump on him, but I kind of respect my opponents, John, and I don't want to leave them. Like boxing is a dangerous game, and if I jumped on him and hurted him, so it's it's not a nice thing. Listen, he was hurt. The ref jumped in, done a great job, and then that was it. They they often say you know boxers aren't paid for overtime, and that you got done fight quickly. But does that mean you want to come out maybe sooner rather than later? Fight again very soon. Yeah, well, um, I'll be speaking to my manager now and um, and my team and see when I'll be back out. But I had. Two, two camps, I had a hectic six months I had with everything, contracts and moving into the new house and I just got, got so much going on I had and um, I just, it's time now just to chill out, give me time back to my missus and my girlfriend and, or, um, and my baby and just, just, just chill and mellow and hopefully back out in October. You certainly deserve your time off, congratulations, that was a fantastic Queensbury debut and we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks very much, I appreciate it Lewis.